Welcome to NDTV. I'm joined by Abhishek Bachchan. Abhishek, how are you firstly? I'm very well, Rohit. How are you and how's the family? Very well, thankfully, you know, staying safe, staying home and doing these interviews from home. So thank you for doing this from home. No, that's the most important to be safe. That's the most important. Right. How's family? How are you coping? You know, uh, they're all you know, well, thank you. They're all well and healthy by the grace of God. Um, everybody's together. So that's always great to get time to spend with the whole family. So, um, yeah, I can't complain. Right. Uh, I, I've been the first one who's actually stepped out to start work a bit because I've been dubbing for the English version of, um, of Breathe. Right. So I've managed to step out, but everybody else is at home and everybody's in good spirits. Yes. I know. So we keep seeing your pictures on Instagram. Every time you go for dubbing, we see some videos of you walking out. Uh, have things changed at the dubbing studio? Uh, yes. I mean, a lot is different. Everybody is very uh, cognizant of the fact that we have to change our normal practices. So uh, obviously everything is as contactless as possible. Um, you know, doors are not touched, gloves are worn, masks, mm -hmm. face shields. Um, you know, they sanitize the, the dubbing booth before I come in. Um, and then obviously once I'm in there, nobody else comes in there. They sanitize the mic and stuff. And you do your job. And uh, I'm the only one who takes off my mask because obviously with the mask on, you can't dub. Right. Um, but thankfully, there's nobody else in the studio with me. So I finish the dub, then you can step out and everybody's maintaining social distancing. There's only the sound recordist and the director. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody's been very disciplined. It's been a, a good experience. Um, it's, it's the new normal and yeah, we're dealing with it. Right. Have you accepted that this will be the new normal, maybe for the coming months, maybe for more? Absolutely. You know, I'm pretty adaptive in that sense. Yeah. Uh, Rohit. I'm not very fussy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is what it is. I think at the end of the day, you should just be happy that you have a job and you get yeah. to go do it. Absolutely. So whatever the requirements are for the safety of everybody, then that's what you should do. That is such a you know positive approach. And that's the best way I wish I could look at it. So great. Uh, I just watched your trailer. Thoroughly enjoy the trailer of Breathe. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. Very, you know, very curious to obviously watch it, which I'm sure Amazon is kind enough to show us in advance always. Um, you know, when you, uh, the, the decision of doing something for web, uh, was it, a, you know, was it a, something like, oh, this is what I would like to do. And did that fall into place with me? Um, very honestly, it happened very differently, Rohit. Um, I had just returned from Amritsar after finishing the shoot of Manmarzia right. uh, in early 2018 right. when I met Vikram, the producer, and Mayank, the director. And they narrated the, the basic concept of the show. Mm -hmm. And they narrated um, that this is the basic story arc. And that was it. I was sold. So I never actually Usually thought about the fact that, oh, this is an Amazon Prime original. Right. Uh, series. I never thought that, oh, is this on television or is this in the web or is this a film? It was just um, material that just really grabbed my attention and something I just wanted to be a part of. Right. You know, so, um, you know, as, as an actor, it doesn't, you know, as long as the content is something that gets your attention and, you know, you get interested, it doesn't really matter whether it's a big screen or television or web. Is that what you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think to a, to a large extent, uh, Rohit, I think in today's day and age, um, those, those boundaries and those definitions and those barriers have kind of dissipated. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think today people just want to see good content, be it in the cinema hall, be it on a television screen, or be it on their phone or their laptop. Right. Uh, at the end of the day, are you able to engage us for the period of time that we sign on? Right. And that's all that matters. Um, and that's why you see a lot of movies shifting in these difficult times to um, digital. Um, why you, I mean, nobody questioned actors or nobody questioned producers and directors when movies were releasing via satellite. Right, yeah. It's like, I mean, why do we need to keep defining these things at the end of the day what is my wish as an actor my wish is the maximum amount of people right. see my work and see the project that i'm working on whether that is an amazon original or whether that is a a, a, a motion picture 
you know, full length motion picture. My desire is that the maximum people come and see it. So today we have this wonderful medium, which is, um, you know, in, in terms of the digital world, if we can reach out to even more people, then why would you not want to display or exhibit your product on that? Right. I wish what you're saying, you know, is really also the reflection of how your dad, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan works, uh, because, you know, there was a time when small screen was considered uh, small. But the minute Mr. Amitabh Bachchan came and did KBC on prime time, everybody jumped onto it. And he, his you know, idea was that only as long as it reaches the audience and my fans. That's, that's pretty much what you're saying. Well, good. Thank God. I think like him. <laughs> right. Um, you know, talking about the show at this stage when people have just seen the trailer, uh, what do you want to tell them? What should they expect? How, how many shows? How, how long will the episodes be? Um, it's a matter of perspective. Technically speaking, Rohit, um, I, would, I would describe this as a psychological thriller. Um, it's in the world of Breathe. So if you've seen season one, right. um, First of all, it's not necessary to have seen season one to see okay. this. Okay. Uh, this is the world of Breathe. That's why it's called Breathe into the Shadows. Right. Uh, we have um, two characters that have been carried forward from season one, which is Amit and Rishikesh Joshi, both right. wonderful actors. Um, but it's not necessary for you to have seen the first season. Yeah. This is a different world, a new season, a new story. Uh, and it has a path of its own. Right. And... Um, Technically speaking, we've, we've made 12 episodes, mm -hmm. uh, which are between 50 minutes to 60 minutes each. Uh, the way I like to look upon it is you're getting three to four films, films to watch yeah, back yeah, to yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, is the um, other set same? Because, uh, you know, uh, like you said, uh, you, in a movie, you get three hours to tell your entire story. Here, it's, uh, you know, if it's an hour every episode, so you get it much longer. Well, you know, well very honestly, Rod, we used to get three hours about... 15, 20 years ago. Yes. Not now anymore. you you get about two hours to two hours, 15 minutes. Anything beyond two fifteen, and people are like, oh wait a second, this is a bit too long. So right. traditionally, um, we get about two two hours, 15 minutes to justify your entire story. Over here, you you get the time to be able to really deep dive into your character. Right. Um, you know, really, really highlight the complexities. Really work on the character arc. Right. And um, you really, I mean, in, in, like we used to say in films, you really get to sink your teeth into, uh, into the role. Right. So um, it's, 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 been, it's been very gratifying. It's been a lot of hard work. It's very challenging, but gratifying because I don't think I ever had the luxury of spending the amount of time to define the character as well as we have in, in, in Breathe. Right. And clearly people enjoy these shows going. Are you a big web consumer yourself? Do you watch a lot of shows, movies? Uh, I have been over the last three to four months. Okay. Uh, you know, usually you don't get the kind of time when you're, when you're shooting because you're, you're busy. You know, you're working almost 18 hours a day. Right. Um, it, it's difficult, but I do enjoy it because I really think the kind of work that's, that's happening is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Uh, Abhishek, you know, I've been on social media from morning and I'm seeing a lot of your fans posting pictures from um, earlier movies from back in the days. Um, 20 years is obviously a long time. I remember my first meeting with you on the sets of Shararat. You were at Worldly Sea Face uh, shooting just one car scene or something. Um, how, when you look back and hear all these, everybody has a story where they met you. How do you see this journey? Uh, I feel blessed. Um, I feel very lucky and I feel very thankful. Um, you know, 20 years isn't a short period. Right. Um, and you have to count your blessings that you managed to make it so far. Right. And you hope that you have the energy and the drive and the motivation. But more importantly, you hope that you have the attention of the audience to give you a chance to be able to make more movies, uh, do more work, carry on acting. Um, I just feel very, very, very happy, very lucky. Lovely. Uh, we all have our favorite Abhishek Bachchan movie. Um, tough one. Which one is yours? <laughs> I no, I don't have any favorites. Um, I uh, I'm very critical of my own work. So whenever I look right. back at my own work, I always find something that I could have done better. So I uh, I'm very critical of my work. 
do you always do that like you know when you were now when you watch breathe and when you're dubbing for it, do you think that oh i could have done this better and every time i think now i could have done it better to be okay. very honest okay. in breathe when we when we did uh, i mean we've been shooting it since 2018 <laughs> um at that point i was giving it my all i've given it my best shot right. uh, let's put it this way oh, of course uh when i see it um i'm sure there'll be something and i hope i can find some flaws uh, mm -hmm. that i can try and improve because that means i'm growing as an artist so uh, so um yeah but i i think the entire team has has worked out of their skin on this one right um you know uh, i i you, you're also sharing a lot of interesting things on your social media is that a space that you enjoy because you know that's where you can directly be in touch with your fans yeah i love the interaction i love the accessibility right um i mean what's really nice is you get to decide how intrusive you want to be about of yourself course. right how private you want to be mm. um but at the end of the day i just feel it's a wonderful medium through which you can reach out to your well wishers right um and interact with them directly wow i want to share you share one picture with you of um, i'm there in the picture with you but from you have to tell me where this was taken okay let's try oh wow okay i'll try these are pictures of you and yeah amazing. this is sharat sharat music launch oh my god that is amazing you are there at, and at the old age home in bandra yes right next to the church mount yes. carmel was it yes i yes. forget the name of yeah and and you were there om puri ji is there amrish puri is there the entire star cast showed up right mr oza amrish puri ji daisy aunty tinu uncle Angel bilu Saab. uncle yeah, everybody yeah. was there yeah yeah i remember it vividly vividly I, we I did it at the old age home Yeah, I found this on my computer. I thought I should just just see if you remember. Yeah, but good memory, ah, huh? good memory. Very good. Great. The Madam is good for you. Well, great. It's been a great journey. I've thoroughly enjoyed your movies. Looking forward to your show. And thank uh, you. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Rohit. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much.